Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Let's start another topic that is uh, to find out the relationship among the load, applied load, shear, and bending movement. So, if you look this beam, there is a random distributed load. So, there is a port at point A and support at point B. So, let we take a section C, C dash of the beam and we will analyze it in order to find the relationship. Let this section is shown here, which is rectangle portion. This is point C and this is point C dash. Now C is at a distance of X and the thickness of this section is delta X. This is a very small section. This delta X. So total length from this point to this point will be X plus delta X. Also it, one thing should be clear that this delta X is very very small so it will be a, actually a thin section clear so if you cut the beam at this point at th this point so there will be a shear force in upward direction and bending moment in this direction and there will be a shear force in downward direction and there will be a bending moment at this direction let this shear force at point c is m and v at a distance of delta x now this shear force is v plus delta v and this moment will be m plus delta m also you can see there is a random load over the entire beam so if this section or if this delta x is very very small so if it, its thickness is very very small so this will if th thickness is very very small so it will be this load will be treated as uniformly distributed load because the thickness is very very small so it will be approximately a rectangular in area the load will be rectangular in area so let this load is w and if you want to convert this concentrated uh, uniformly distributed load into concentrated load so you have to multiply this w with this delta x so it is represented over here so this load is converted into and this is the magnitude of concentrated load which is W into X. Now this W into X will be lie in the mid of this section. So this is, this is total is delta X so it will be at a distance of this distance will be half of delta X. Now we will apply the summation of force along y direction must be equal to zero so you can see there are two forces one is this v this is an upward direction so v and there is another shear force which is in downward direction that is minus v minus into v plus delta v and there is a force which is w into delta x and that is also acting downward minus w into delta x is equal to 0. So this is will become equal to v minus v minus delta v clear minus v minus delta v and minus w into delta x their sum is equal to 0. So it will be cancelled with this. So delta v becomes equal to minus w into delta x. Clear? Again if you divide this equation with delta x on both sides so we will get delta v over delta x is equal to minus omega rw clear now this delta x is very very small so we will take the limit on both side so delta x approaches to zero clear and again we will take limit delta x approaches to 0 into minus w clear this will be in bracket now you know that uh, this limit uh, of delta v over delta x when x approaches to 0 is actually it is uh, 
dv by dx and it will be equal to minus w here and from this we can calculate that dv is equal to minus w into dx now this dv is actually vc vc dash shear force at point c dash vc dash minus vc that is equal to minus w into dx so this is the relationship of the shear force with the load so w is the load and v is shear force or dv is equal to minus w into x so v is the shear force and w is the load so we have uh, derived an equation that shows the relationship between load and shear so again this is also given here v minus v plus delta and again same this thing so if now if you want to find the shear force and shear force and the uh, load relationship at point d so again dv is equal to minus w into dx again this dv is equal to uh, for the entire load we will integrate it on both sides so this integration from c to d so that will be equal to vd minus vc is equal to integral of minus w into dx from x from c to d clear so x c to x d so v d minus v c so in this way you can solve you can find out the relationship between the shear force and the load at any section at an, in between any section from any one from one point to another point so this is the one basic equation dv is equal to minus w into r v is equal to v v at one or two points v2 minus v1 is equal to integral of x from 1 to 2 is equal to w into dx minus now we will uh, similarly we will also we can also find the moment at point c dash there, there sum will be equal to zero taking counterclockwise as positive so you can see at point c there is a reaction moment that is m plus delta m there is a moment in clockwise direction uh, in counterclockwise direction this is counterclockwise and this is clockwise so that will be minus m and due to this concentrated load there will be a moment in counterclockwise direction that will be positive clear uh, that will be w into x w into delta x and the perpendicular distance is delta x by 2 and one more moment due to this shear force which will produce a clockwise rotation that is minus v into delta x so if you solve this equation you will get delta m will be equal to v into delta x minus 1 over 2 w into delta x whole square clear again if you take the limit on both sides so that is limit delta m is equal to limit of this equation v into delta x minus 1 over 2 w into delta x whole square and this limits from x delta x approaches to 0 let me clear some area so erase these things now 
this limit of delta m is if you take the limit let me write it again over here limit of delta m and delta x approaches to 0 is equal to limit of delta x approaches to 0 v into delta x minus 1 over the 2 omega into delta x 0 if this delta x is approaches to 0 its square will be 0 so uh, its square will be also very small so we will neglect this and this will be taken to 0 so this uh, delta limit over delta m over delta okay one more thing is that if you have limit of uh, sorry if you have uh, you can see this equation delta m is equal to v into delta x minus 1 over 2 so delta x is common so if you divide delta x on both sides so that will be equal to delta m over delta x and this will be equal to v in v minus delta x not x square so if delta x is very very small so it's zero so we have limit of delta m or delta x is equal to limit of v there and this limit will be equal to dm over dx and that is equal to v or we can say dm is equal to v into dx this is another equation that is relationship between the moment and the shear force bending moment and shear force just like we have dv is equal to minus w into dx we have dm is equal to v into dx now this is the relation that can be used directly in your problems but there is a limitation you cannot apply this equation to the concentrated load or point loads this equation can be only valid if you have distributed load so now you, if you want to find the moment at point d so we will integrate it so that will be equal to, we will integrate this from point c to d and from point c to d so md minus mc will be equal to integral of v into dx x at c and x at d so by using this equation you can solve the problem very easily in order to find the bending moment at any point at c or at b or c dash etc so this was all about relationship among the load shear and bending moment now we will solve another sample problem and we will use this methodology in order to show you or in order to clear your concept further.